Good morning. I am again coming to you from a recorded message. Uh, I have some guests coming at eight o'clock, so I wanted to be sure I got this out this morning for you. Uh, let us start with prayer. Lord, we come to you again this morning with hearts uh, ready to receive your word, with minds that are ready to put those words into action, and hearts that are open to the love and the compassion that you have for us that we are to give to others. Be with us today as we journey through this thing we call life, knowing you are there with us every single step of the way. We begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So this morning, I have decided that my messages and the things that I've been praying for tend to have a little bit of a downer tone to them. And so this, when I awoke this morning, the first thing that came into my mind was joy. Uh, you know, we often don't pray for joy, um, but I think we need to. Because even though things seem to be uh, kind of on a solemn note, uh, you know, winter is dreary and uh, we're in Lent with the season where we are anticipating the, the crucifixion of Jesus and it's supposed to be a time of solemn reflection. There are still things upon which we are to be joyful. There are still things to be happy about, and we are to be happy. That's what God wants for us. So my verses today come from Psalm 68, and it is verses 4 and 5, and it says, uh, excuse me, 3 and 4. But let the righteous be joyful. Let them exult before God. Let them be jubilant with joy. Sing to God, sing praises to his name, lift up a song to him who rides upon the clouds. His name is the Lord. Be exultant before him. Let the righteous be joyful, let them be jubilant with joy. We're not just supposed to be happy. We're not supposed to just be content. We're to be jubilant. What a word. What an exciting and empowering word. It is the epitome of what God deems for his people. I know that uh, music for me is, is often a, uh, a comfort, but it is also a means to express immense happiness um, and understanding that even when things are not great, we still have a great God. Um, there is a song by Toby Mac and he had a, a tragedy happen a, 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 few, a few years ago. His son uh, passed away, I believe, of an overdose and um, an accidental overdose. And he was in great despair and he sat to write some music and he expected it to be um, very solemn and very uh, mellow. And there's a song that came out of that where he found, um, you know, ain't no doubt about you. Everywhere that I go, you keep showing up. You make me want to shout it. You are the goodness in my life. Um, so we are, we do have a great and joyful God. Let us rejoice. This is the day that the Lord has made and let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us pray. Lord, there is so much chaos, but yet even amidst the snow, the flowers will bloom, the sun will shine, the skies will be clear. 
There is much for us to be happy about. There is much for us to rejoice and to be joyful. You are the goodness in our life. And in that, we can find pure, jubilant joy. Lord, we cannot forget that there are those who are struggling. There are people who are dealing with so many stresses, whether it be financial, whether it be personal, physical. We cannot forget that they may not see the goodness. And it is up to us to help bring the sun into their lives, both S-U-N and S-O-N. Lord, we pray for Taylor and Beckett, Dean, Steve, Mavis, and Jane. We ask for your healing, guy, uh, healing hand to wash over them and for your continued presence in their journeys. Lord, it is always good to praise you and it is always good to bring everything to you in prayer. And we do that now, uniting our voices as one through the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Uh, I wrote things down today. so. Uh, we want to remember we have Bible coffee this morning at 9 o'clock. Uh, so if you are able to join and reflect on the lessons for this coming Sunday, uh, please do that. That is at Evangelical. Tomorrow is our Lenten service. Uh, we have a Mexican supper starting at 6. Services will then start and um, follow at 7. Um, and again, those are at Evangelical. Uh, happy birthday yesterday to Harlan Bistadu and today to Ben Soother. Uh, what a way, what a day to talk about being joyful and we are joyful that you are in this world and we hope that your day is filled with love and laughter and Harlan we hope that yesterday was a blessing for you as well. That is going to be it for me for this morning. Uh, I will be back with you again tonight at 8.30. I should be live. Um, should not be any reason that I'm not. So until then, have a blessed and joyful day, and I will see you tonight.